So, I don't think anyone expected for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers to be 2-0 at the beginning of this season with the Bucs going through one of the most drastic changes in the entire NFL. I mean, losing Tom Brady to retirement and replacing him with Baker Mayfield is quite the change. And it's not like the Buccaneers have had to play easy teams in these first two weeks. They played the Minnesota Vikings in week one, beat them 20 to 17. By the way, the Minnesota Vikings have one of the most rock solid teams in the entire NFL. I mean, they are just good from top to bottom. They're just solid. Then this past week, they played the Chicago Bears, who are also a super new team, a, a team that took a lot of changes over the offseason, and they handled them like it was nothing. Baker Mayfield is playing like a competent quarterback, which just angers me as a Carolina Panthers fan because he didn't play anything close to this in Carolina. He's playing better than any time we've seen Baker Mayfield on an NFL field other than the 2020 season when he led the Browns to the playoffs. Baker Mayfield has had a great start to this season. He has not thrown an interception yet. He's only thrown touchdowns. But I don't think we can talk about Baker Mayfield's success or how great Baker Mayfield's been so far without giving credit where credit is due. And that credit is due to star wide receiver Mike Evans. Evans has always been a high level, high production type player since entering the league in 2014 a four-time Pro Bowler, and being a 1,000-yard receiver every single year, he has arguably been the most reliable wide receiver in the entire NFL. But yet, he's never really been considered the best receiver in the league. I mean, there's always been a few guys over him, like Devontae Adams, Tyreek Hill. Now you've got, like, Justin Jefferson. But, like, he's so majorly underappreciated, and he is the definition of underrated and a guy who is loyal. I mean, he really stuck it out with the Buccaneers. When he came into the league, he played with Mike Glennon, Josh McCowan, and interception bust machine Jameis Winston. So, yeah, he was able to put up a 1,000-yard seasons with these guys as his quarterback and making Pro Bowls. Then he gets blessed with the opportunity to play with Tom Brady for three years. He wins a Super Bowl. People are finally starting to talk about, oh, how great Mike Evans is. But then, now, he's got Baker Mayfield as his starting quarterback. And people were saying, oh, Baker's done. This is his last chance in the NFL. Mike Evans is down for a bad year. Stay away from him in fantasy football. Folks, I drafted Mike Evans just like as a late round pick. I think it was like the seventh or eighth round. He was still around and I was like, you know what? I need a backup wide receiver. Mike Evans is mad reliable. Let's get Mike Evans. So far in my leagues, he's put up 18 points in the first week and then 27 in the second week. I started him this week and he's a big reason why I'm going to win this week. I mean, he just is. He's had a great start to the season. He's in for another 1,000 yard season if he keeps this up. He has been really, really good. It is time that Mike Evans gets the credit that he deserves. The Buccaneers could not be tied for the NFC South lead right now without his play. The Buccaneers could not have been in the situation that they're in if he didn't stick it out. He obviously loves the city of Tampa. Because if he didn't, he would have been gone a long time ago because the situation with the Bucks has been crap other than those years with Tom Brady. Mike Evans is exactly what you want in a franchise type player. He just seems like a good dude and he's mad talented. Like he obviously has super talent. Yeah, injuries have started to catch up with him. But he's still a reliable option that the Bucs can rely on, that Baker Mayfield can rely on to make sure he gets the football to set them up for good situations. I'm hoping nothing but the best for Mike Evans, for him to have a great season, other than, of course, when he plays my Carolina Panthers this season.